So this video is going to be uploaded after the Pokemon Presents, because even though part of me wants to cover the leaks as a Pokemon fan, I didn't want to milk everything dry talking about every riddle that we've been hearing for the last week. But considering most things are pointing to us going back to Johto or Unova, aka going back to peak Pokemon, I'm super excited. Maybe it'll be deep black and vast white or faithful remakes. I mean, you guys have probably seen the 4chan leak by now, which I'm sure was totally real. I really hope that didn't age poorly. Maybe the games could be Legend Celebi, Victini, or Curum, maybe even Meloetta. It could be Black and White 3, Let's Go Johto, or whatever else we have. The Johto Unova Fusion game could be insanely cool. There's so much they could be doing, but also, it's Game Freak, so I'm not sure how much they tend to try anymore. But it's okay, because my two favorite regions and games are back in the spotlight, in this Pokemon Direct, which went a little something like, Oh my god, it's Pikachu. Oh, and, un oh my god, unknown. Oh my god, Johto? Johto? They're literally dropping Heart Gold the Soul Silver. In the yeah, You're there's the no, there's no way. Oh my god, gambling? Oh my god, Pokemon TCG. Oh, wait, this is actually, this one's actually kind of sick. It's way better than that dumb game. Okay, that's, that's actually really cool. Ooh, okay, okay, here we are, here we are. Pikachu and Unknown. It says C so we you So you question mark. That is so real, Pikachu, thank you. Oh my god, oh my god, it's here. Oh my god, it's here. But it's only one game, so it's what is it? Con con okay. Nice. Urban redevelopment plan. Oh, is that those letters? I think we've seen them somewhere. Oh, Unova? No, yeah. What the? Okay, what is going on now? That's that's not that's not Unova. Okay. Oh my God! No, X X and Y. Those are, they're all Kalos Pokemon. Oh my god, it's X and Y. That's, that's Lumio's Tower. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's X and Y. Oh my god. Pokemon Z? After what, 10 years? 12 years? Oh my, yeah, it's Lumio's. And that's a Fletchling. Oh my. Holy, oh my god, holy shit. Holy shit, oh my god. It is, it's Lumios. No way. Pokemon Z, Pokemon Z is crazy. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. It's Legends, Legends Z. Legends Z, oh, what the f- AZ? Like, like AZ's flow at 2025? Oh my god, Game Freak's, Game Freak's actually taking their time? Oh my god, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my god! They're back, they're, they're bringing Mega Pokemon back. Woo! So, uh, yeah. This was my Stitch Together live reactions to Pokemon Legends ZA being revealed. This is super crazy, because nobody leaked this. Nobody believed this was coming. And I mean, Legends Z? Returning to Kalos after 11 years? 12 years when it comes out. Yeah, that was on no one's bingo card. I mean, beforehand, Junichi Masuda literally told a reporter in an official Nintendo magazine years ago that they never planned to make a Pokemon Z because they like surprising fans and so they dropped Sun and Moon. And, well, I guess the surprise now was dropping Pokemon Z. But the Pokemon Presents itself was pretty good. It was pretty great, I think. Johto was being sprinkled throughout. I mean, I, beginning we got the unknowns, and then we had Raikou pulling up to Pokemon Sleep with Entei and Suicune. We got Silver coming to Pokemon Masters EX with a mega shiny Tyranitar. And my man is dripped out. We got new Pokemon Cafe Mix stuff, and Pokemon Horizons and Pokemon Go with Maridon being in Pokemon Unite, along with Phalanx, which is all pretty cool. 
We got a really cool evolution of the Pokemon TCG coming from mobile, which will fuel so many people's gambling addictions, and I'll be talking more about the TCG in a later video, because I'm really excited for that one too. All in all, a really solid Pokemon Presents. Some people might be salty that Unova isn't getting its remakes, but I mean, it was probably too soon anyway, considering we've only gotten one set of actual remakes per console. First, we had Fire Red and Leaf Green on the GBA, Heart Gold and Soul Silver on the DS, Oraz on the 3DS, and BDSP on the Switch. Not to mention, there's usually a bit more of a time jump between remakes than three years. And I mean, hey, them finishing up X and Y is very welcome. I think most people went into this thinking that they'd screw it up and release something in 2024. But Game Freak decided to take more time with this one. And it's probably been in development for a little bit already. And them taking their time to make good games is probably for the best considering how Scarlet and Violet turned out. Which, um, was a bit of a mess at the beginning. People have been wanting Pokemon to take more time making their games. And, well, that's what the Power World boom was. But now they can take the feedback from the first Legends game and make something even more special. And, you know, use the time to hopefully make it look a little better than what we had. This would be great because, I mean, Legends was probably the best game we've had in years. And I'm sure most people are really glad to see them continuing the series. And the return of Mega Evolution would be huge for the series considering how many people have wanted it back. But yeah. I'll be covering videos making possible Mega Pokemon that I want to see brought back and expanded on, and go more into the prospects behind Pokemon Legends ZA. Oh, and um, I know I haven't made a Pokemon video before, but for any subscribers watching, I'm a massive Pokemon fan, and I have been since I was like 3 when I could distinguish what a Pikachu was. So yeah, there's definitely going to be an increase in the amount of Pokemon vids, so if you like Pokemon, consider subscribing, and the rest of you, um, please, please don't leave. The other content will be staying, and I'll just be doing a mix of more things that I want to do. But yeah, that's all from me, and so hopefully you guys liked the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.